Welcome to DRP University, a video resource designed to demonstrate the practical use and innovation of DRP performance products. Now, let's head out to the shop. Hello, my name is Lenny Doughton. Today we are discussing our DRP hub measurement tools. We developed a set of tools to speed the process of measuring the hub between the inner and outer bearings so we can accurately set our bearing spacers. To do this process, we have a tool set that has three different parts. We have a base, a mandrel, and a measurement head. In addition to that, we have a surface plate here with uh, the same indicator. The first step of the process is to zero out our surface plate. To do that, we're, for this case, we're using a wide five style hub. I'm gonna take my base, place it underneath the indicator, and press zero. The next step is to zero out our measurement head. To do that, we take our outer hub bearing, place upside down so that the cage is free onto our base, slide our measurement head in, and I'll press zero again. Now, I'll take the inner bearing, put it right on the top of the base, Seat my hub down on the inner bearing, slide the mandrel, making sure that it's seated in the inner bearing, put the outer bearing in, and then slide my measurement head down in. Holding slight pressure on my measurement head, I'm now going to spin the hub. And spinning the hub, I'm making sure that the bearings are seated. I'm also checking the parallelism between the races. That's the variance in the number that you see. I'm going to use my largest number, in this case it's 378 thousandths. And I'm going to take my bearing spacer, I'm going to put it underneath the surface plate here. I always measure the bearing spacer with the set screw facing out for consistency. And I'm going to simply adjust the spacer until I reach the same number. In our research, we've found that we can go six to eight thousandths longer or less preload than our zero number. So I'm going to go ahead and go six thousandths longer, which would be 372 thousandths. And then we'll test it. I'll place my inner bearing onto my test stand. Place the bearing spacer down on. I'm not setting the set screw at this time. I'm also doing all my measurements with dry bearings. Place my hub down, outer bearing in, and then we'll put the spindle nut on. Remember with bearing spacers, we can lock the spindle nut completely down. And I'll do that now. First step is I'm going to check for any in play. In this hub, I have none. And then I'm going to spin the hub. See that my hub is good and free. I could go back and readjust this if I so desired, but we're in pretty good shape right off the bat. I will now go back and lock the set screw down, mark the set screw, mark the bearing spacer, and keep this spacer, these bearings, and this hub as one complete assembly.